Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today, in this video, we are going to develop ladder logic from digital logic circuit. So, let's look at the example first. Example 23. We have six inputs A, B, C, D, E, and F. And we have one output that is Y. So, for input A, C, and E, we will use normally open contacts. As you can see here, for input B, D, and F, there is not logic yet. So, we will use normally closed contacts for input B, D, and F. So, input A and B, as you can see here, there is and logic gate. So, the input A as normally open contact and the input B as normally closed contact will be connected in series. And then C as normally open contact and D in as normally closed contact will be connected in series thus implementing our logic gate. Similarly, E and F will be connected in series. And A, B, C, D and E, F will be connected in parallel with each other. As you can see here, this is the representation of an OR logic gate. So, A, B and then C, D will be connected in parallel with A, B and then E, F will be connected in parallel with C, D. So, let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder logic for this example and implement different logic gates. So, this is the interface of TI portal. Let's go to PLC tags first and then default tag table. So, here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So, we have six inputs A, B, C, D, E and F. And then we have one output that is Y. So, here the address of the output will start with Q that is Q0.0. And then let's minimize this. And we will go to program blocks and then main OB1. So here we will draw the data logic for that digital logic circuit. So I will min um, zoom into it. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact for input A and then I will insert a normally closed contact for input B. And these are connected in series thus implementing our logic gate. A and then B. And then we have to implement OR logic gate. So I will open the branch and then we have to implement OR logic gate with C and D. So I will insert a normally open contact for C and then we have to implement NOR logic gate. So for D, I will use a normally closed contact and then I will close a branch. So this normally open contact will be C and this normally closed contact will be D. After that, we have to implement one more logic gate. So I will open the branch a normally open contact for E and then we have to implement our logic gate. So for that, I will use one more contact. But here we will use a normally closed contact as we have to implement not logic gate. So I will close a branch. So here for this A and B, we have implemented our logic gate, C and D our logic gate and then we have E and F. So here E and F as no, uh, no, and logic gate and logic gate. But we have connected these in series. So here we are implementing OR logic gate. So as you can see here B, D and F are used as normally closed contacts. So we here are implementing NOR logic gate. So for output I will insert a coil and it will be Y. So now for output Y to be on, A should be on, B should be off. Output Y will be on. Or C should be on and D should be off, output Y will be on. Or A should be on, F should be off. So if A is on, B should be off. If C is on, D should be off. If E is on, F should be off, then only the output Y will be on. So I will start the simulation.
After that, I will start the CPU. And then I will start monitoring. And after that, I will switch to project view. Let's create a new project and wait. Then I will click on simulation table and simulation table 1. And then I will right click here and then click on load project tax. So now we can start the simulation. As you can see here, when I turn on A, Y will be on, but B should be off. When I turn on B as well, the output Y will be on. So, if A is on, B should be off or we can use C. When I turn on C, output Y will be on and D should be off. If I turn on D, the output Y will be off. So, when C is on, D should be off or we can use E as well. So, when I turn on E, output Y will be on and then F should be off. If F is on, the output Y will be on. So, if A is on, B should be off. If C is on, D should be off. If uh, E is on, F should be off. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.